Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we dive into the fascinating realm of empathic phrases that have the power to make narcissists lose their minds. Many of us are not aware that our brains are inherently designed to mirror emotions, and individuals known as empaths, who possess this ability naturally, represent the ideal of what humanity should aspire to be. However, throughout history, empaths have fallen victim to the manipulative tactics of narcissists. The topic of narcissistic abuse has only recently begun to be brought to light and discussed more openly. If you find yourself grappling with the effects of narcissistic behavior within a relationship, or if you are acquainted with someone who is, then we invite you to stay with us as we delve into a list of 10 powerful phrases that have the potential to either shatter or halt the narcissist in their tracks. We strongly urge you to stay with us until the unveiling of phrase number 10. Its power and simplicity may surprise you, as you might find it hard to believe that it never crossed your mind before. Let's start with phrase number one, I don't want to argue about this anymore. The root of narcissistic behavior often lies in an attempt to compensate for a deep-seated lack of self-esteem. Narcissists are typically characterized by an exaggerated sense of self-importance, and without this inflated ego, they are confronted with the uncomfortable truth about their own self-perception. During arguments, if anything or anyone becomes more significant than their own point of view, they find themselves in a position where they lack the usual source of their self-esteem. Since narcissists derive their self-worth from the energy and focus that empaths invest in them, if their partner calmly communicates their disinterest in the argument, the attention and care are no longer directed towards the narcissist. As a result, the narcissist naturally starts to lose steam and interest in the argument. This is why this particular phrase can be a powerful tool for empaths. It creates room for their own needs within the relationship, helps curb the narcissist's attention-seeking behavior, and forces the narcissist to confront the reality that they are not the center of the universe. By using this phrase, empaths can effectively communicate to the narcissist that the world does not cater to their every whim and demand. Phrase number two, you are free to believe what you choose. In the worldview of a narcissist, our planet Earth is but a celestial body orbiting them, their needs, and their viewpoints. They firmly believe that their opinion is the pinnacle of truth and wisdom, and they struggle to accept any perspectives that differ from their own. This behavior often stems from an early childhood where their emotional needs and opinions were overlooked or neglected. This is the reason why a narcissist could abruptly end a relationship over something as trivial as their partner's preference for a particular brand of coffee. When engaging in a conversation with a narcissist, it is advisable to let them know that while they have the right to their beliefs, you too have your own unique perspective. This approach can help broaden their outlook and make them understand that they are in a safe space where their opinions are respected and heard. This realization can lower their defenses making them more receptive to what you have to say. After all, beneath the facade of a narcissist, there lies a misunderstood child nursing emotional wounds. Phrase number three, I respect your feelings. As we have discussed, narcissistic behavior often arises from a lack of acknowledgement and understanding during childhood. Many a time, narcissists are not even aware of this, and they adopt narcissistic behavior as a coping mechanism for deep-seated emotional wounds the pain of not being accepted by their family or peers. Imagine the relief a narcissist would feel when they no longer have to assert their viewpoints and feelings aggressively. Empaths, who possess a high level of tolerance for differing opinions, have the ability to put themselves in another's shoes and comprehend their feelings. Let the narcissist know that you respect and accept their feelings, no matter how unconventional they may be. This gesture might make them feel understood and accepted in a way they have never experienced before, paving the way for genuine intimacy and honest communication. Phrase number four, I understand that is your perspective. Narcissists are often notorious for their propensity to craft deceptive narratives. One of their most profound fears is the unveiling of their genuine thoughts and feelings. They tend to weave a web of half-truths and manipulative dialogues, aiming to project an image that their partners would find acceptable, all in an attempt to manipulate them emotionally. This trait is a significant aspect of the narcissistic behavior that empaths should be aware of, so they can effectively navigate their interactions with narcissists. 
Empaths, by their very nature, seek genuine connections and value honesty in expressing emotions. This is undeniably a commendable trait. However, when dealing with a narcissist, it is crucial for the empath to communicate that they understand the narcissist and are aware of their true thoughts and feelings. This approach can provide a sense of security for the narcissist, fostering an environment conducive to more sincere and heartfelt conversations. Phrase number five, I have no control over your perceptions of me. It is not uncommon for narcissists to form romantic relationships with empaths who struggle with low self-esteem. The reason being, it is easier for the narcissist to assert their dominance through a form of emotional manipulation known as gaslighting. This technique involves instilling feelings of self-doubt and unworthiness in the victim, thus making them easier to control. Empaths, often ridden with self-doubt and a heightened sense of self-awareness, tend to rely heavily on their partner's perception of them to define their self-worth. This gives the narcissist an immense amount of power over the empath. By stating that you accept your partner's freedom to form whatever opinion they wish about you, you not only liberate the narcissist from the need to constantly defend their thoughts, but more importantly, you free yourself from their psychological hold over your self-perception. This realization can serve as a catalyst for you to start cultivating your self-worth while concurrently accepting the narcissist's feelings towards you. Does the thought of this empower you? Do these phrases instill in you a newfound sense of self and the courage to no longer tolerate abusive behavior? If your answer is yes, then you will surely find value in the subsequent points. And why not subscribe for more insights and guidance on this topic? Phrase number six, I'm listening to you. Narcissists are notorious for their adverse reactions when they feel their viewpoints are being challenged. In heated arguments, they often resort to dominating the conversation by employing aggressive and manipulative tactics. This behavior primarily stems from their inability to accept the possibility of being in the wrong. It's a defense mechanism that they deploy to maintain their perceived superiority. Understanding this aspect of a narcissist's personality can be instrumental in dealing with them more effectively. One approach is to reassure them that you are actively listening and genuinely comprehending their point of view. By verbally acknowledging their position, you help to alleviate the tension they might be experiencing. This not only creates a more conducive environment for conversation, but may also make them more receptive to your perspective. They could become more open to hearing your side of the story or at least lend a more attentive ear, once they feel truly heard and understood. Phrase number seven, feel free to express your thoughts. It's a well-known fact that confronting a narcissist can be a daunting and emotionally distressing task. Having to hear them belittle you or blame you for everything that goes wrong can feel incredibly overwhelming. However, it's crucial for you, as an empath, to recognize your personal worth and not let their gaslighting tactics affect your self-esteem. By clearly stating that the narcissist is free to express their thoughts, you are employing a powerful strategy to defuse potential conflicts. This assertion respects their right to voice their opinions, which can help prevent them from feeling cornered or defensive. At the same time, it allows you to hear their unfiltered thoughts about you without letting it affect your emotional well-being. After all, who can argue against the freedom of expression? It's important to remember that this isn't about granting the narcissist an unrestricted license to belittle or berate you. Instead, it's about empowering yourself to stand firm in the face of their manipulative tactics. By doing so, you reinforce your mental and emotional boundaries, while also encouraging them to communicate more openly and honestly. Phrase number eight, I can't control how you feel about me. It's not uncommon for a narcissistic individual to constantly seek someone to blame. In the absence of another target, they may have to confront the unsettling reality of self-blame. Consequently, they prefer to divert the attention towards their partner, ensuring that their partner shoulders the responsibility for every disagreement or imperfection in the relationship. This blame game can escalate to such an extent that they may even hold their partner accountable for their own feelings towards them. Empaths, known for their aversion to conflict, often internalize this blame, silently enduring the pain. However, this is an unhealthy and unsustainable way of managing a relationship. It's essential to convey to your narcissistic partner two important truths. Firstly, they are entitled to their feelings, and secondly, you do not have the power to dictate their emotions towards you. 
This understanding can serve as a stepping stone towards improving the dynamics of your relationship. Phrase number nine, I just want you to know how I feel. Every aggressive behavior is rooted in a deep-seated fear, and narcissists are no exception. Their fear is so overpowering that they resort to manipulation to create a sense of security. If they perceive even a slight loss of control, they react with anger and employ their manipulative tactics to regain the upper hand. Their passive-aggressive manipulation is fundamentally a defense mechanism to counter their fear of losing control. Given this, it becomes imperative for the empath in the relationship to clearly state their intentions before engaging in any argument or making a point. If you initiate the conversation by expressing your desire to be heard and to share your feelings, you may succeed in mitigating the onslaught of narcissistic abuse. Instead, there's a higher likelihood of being granted a brief period of active listening from the narcissist, since they understand that your intent is not to harm them. Phrase number 10, everything is okay. This simple yet profound affirmation can effectively neutralize a prevalent form of narcissistic abuse, which involves conditioning empaths to feel lesser without the narcissist's validation. Empaths, given their inherent nature, often rely on external feedback to evaluate their self-worth. This tendency inadvertently bestows the narcissist with the power to dictate the health of the relationship. By reassuring your partner with the phrase everything is okay, you can instill a sense of calm and steer the conversation towards a peaceful resolution. This reassurance shows your narcissistic partner that despite their negative emotions or actions, you maintain faith in your relationship and have a solid understanding of your position within it. This gesture can serve to remind them of the relationship's strength, even in times of conflict. As we conclude this insightful exploration into the dynamics of empath-narcissist relationships, armed with the knowledge of these powerful phrases, you now possess a toolkit for navigating the complexities of narcissistic behavior. We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe for more empowering insights. Remember, understanding these phrases can pave the way for healthier connections and genuine self-discovery. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey towards reclaiming your power and fostering authenticity in your relationships. Until next time, stay empowered and stay true to yourself.